Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back for part two of going through the Nintendo leaks. This is the video that I promised of going through the bezel engine and actually seeing, trying to understand how it works. So first of all, we're going to start by going through the folders and just seeing what they are. So like the common folder looks like four applic. There's a okay. Not going to dig through that. Um, Imgui, cool. Lewis stuff. Source Han code JP. Jesus Christ, I'm burpy as hell. I'm so sorry. Licensing stuff. Whoa. <laughs> Sharp DX. Cool. Dear Imgui. Okay. <laughs> See, program GFW. 3D editor and a bunch of other stuff. That's pretty cool. Maya stuff. So there's plugins and stuff for Maya here for 3D modeling. Pretty cool. Resources, logos, TGA files that I can't open, of course. Some revision information. And some samples. Pretty cool. API example usage, sample top down template. A top down template. Note to self that, or not note to self, but note to you guys, never just click random EXEs that you download from the internet unless you know what they are. With that, don't do what I'm about to do. Oh. Damn it, couldn't run it. It was probably expecting. Yeah, so I can't even run these, unfortunately. Let's see. Trying to connect to Nintendo Target Manager. Okay, so yeah, I can't even run those. That's okay. Either it's looking for a switch to actually run on, or I can't rail shooter. Interesting, but I can't actually run it. Got it. Um, all right, whatever. Uh, game templates. Let's start. You know what? It's the rail shooter. It's a 3D rail shooter. Fuck it. It didn't do anything. Oh, it did. What is it doing? It's opening portal.exe. It's opening the bezel engine. Let's see what this does. Let's get into it. Here's the game source code. Here's the template in the source code. Uh, start in, not surprising. And top down delegate. Nintendo development environment has found the following and it installed SDK was not found reinstall Nintendo SDK Whatever I don't care build settings environment variables Asset manager archive browser I want to look at Wow it's going to let me just open these files. I am so surprised they don't have any kind of security on this to like make sure not just some Joe Smo like me gets a hold of these files and just starts opening things. Build. Build settings, asset browser, archive browser, all the same thing. Okay. Launcher. Bezel engine. Open. Open. Build. Huh. Really need to learn how to use this. This might not be as extravagant as I thought because some of this I can't read. <laughs> Which means I'm not going to be running this very well. There's Photoshop stuff. Some um, probably Japanese, I think, is what that is. Maya, cool. A random 3D editor. Can't open it. Some GitHub stuff. 
Oh, that opened a command prompt, which didn't work. Map editor. I can't run. Can't run. Got it. What about script debugger? Script de debugger works. Here's the top down shooter. Here's the Lua script for the top down shooter. Who would have thought that a lot of the Switch stuff is just Lua? Project folder, frame attributes, actual. This is pretty cool. Not that I understand what I'm really looking at. As I do guess, now that I'm looking at it this way, most of the Nintendo Switch stuff is probably created in Unity or Unreal. I do not have a Nintendo SDK installed, that's true. OpenGL I do have. I don't have the Nintendo SDK, I know. I'm not bothering to install it. I'm not bothering to install much of any of these, actually. But it's pretty am It's pretty amazing that this just opens. This just opens. Like it's crazy. Like what happens if I hit build? Could not start process. Cannot find the file specified. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's much to this that I can really do anything with. Unfortunately. As much as I thought I would be able to with this. So I don't think this video is going to be worth much in uploading. Um but like I'm honestly just gonna delete that folder for now. But there are more versions of the bezel engine with the NX add-on and stuff like that. So these are probably worth digging through and eventually maybe I'll get something to run and I'll make a part three I know this is kind of sad that it didn't work this well but it didn't work as well as I wanted but uh, let's see what this extracts out to we'll see if we can open some of this stuff in here let's see game templates there is a start here, but again, I think it's going to do the same thing. Here, we're going to just extract the one folder here. Wow, 800 megabytes compressed to that size. That's pretty amazing. Oh, I can't see this. All right, we're going to hope. This didn't take that long, so I didn't bother pausing. Game, t game template, start. Can't read any of it. Let's see, programs, game, That's source code, configs. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Assets. Let's see, rail shooter, GUI stuff. That's pretty cool. Archives. Nothing I can do anything with. So yeah, unfortunately, I can't do anything with any of these files until I get them set up properly, which I'm sure there's tutorials on forums out there for me to do this. Um, I'll make a part three if or when I get this stuff working. Unfortunately, this wasn't the big part two that I expected it to be. But hey, I'll get something working in the future and we'll go from there. So. Um, I think my next video is going to be another combat arms video to clear up some confusion with the repulsive hacks VIP um, that Chris explained to me after he saw my video, explained to me how to use room spoof and all that and why I was an invisible player. If you have the HP boost on, you become invisible. Who would have thought? 
So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, regardless of the fact that it was, you know, kind of short and I didn't really get anything working yet. Sorry. Um, God, this is still going to take all night. There's one other download that's been released that's 14 gigs for all this uh, Nintendo leak stuff. And a little ridiculous. But I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.